Hello, my name is Chris. I go by the Jurassic Artist on Instagram. And today I am going to be opening some of the stuff I bought. Just a few little pieces that I have waited to open. So let's get to it. Basically, I can't remember what I bought. It's been a few weeks worth of stuff. So I'm pretty much as in the dark as you guys will be. So let's start. Ah yes. Jurassic Park 3 goodness. Don't know if anyone's seen this before outside of the UK, but basically for Jurassic Park 3 in 2001, Burger King Happy Meals. Had a little Isla Nublar, not Nublar, Isla Sauna. And basically, you put all these together, a plane in the middle would spin, and all the ones around the side, like this here, would be activated and create a little scene. I have got a few more, but I'm nowhere near completed it. Right, I do remember what this one is, since I only ordered it the other day and I had it shipped to work. It's my ticket. This is the Fanatic Special Edition tickets. And they are beautiful. Just look at that. Opening weekend. And the most depressing thing for me is that it's 1993. And I went to the opening showing of Jurassic Park whilst on holiday. And I would have been about six or seven. You can probably work out my age since the 30th anniversary of this year. And these are limited, as you can see, to 1993, the year it was released. I like to keep things in the box, so I'll probably never know which one I've got. But these have gone nicely with my other ones. Nice. Okay, this one actually arrived this morning and I have no clue what this is. Still no clue because it's a ready big thing. At least it's packaged. Oh yes, I remember. The Lost World. These bring back the memories for me. Let's get them out first. Basically, Walker's Crisps. You got these in the multi-packs and they fall down. Came out in 97 with the Lost World. Ooh, Tiger Stripes, nice. As you can see, they came with mini cheddars, skips and hula hoops. And just a little few facts about it. I'm not sure which ones I've got here, but Stegosaurus, Raptor, another Raptor but a different number, another Raptor but a different number, and another Pteranodon, repeating the Stegosaurus and the Raptor, another Stegosaurus but a different number, T-Rex, a Velociraptor that I've already got there, number 19, Pachycephalosaurus, another Pteranodon, what number was that one? And I've found number four, Compi 11, and another one at number three, Repeat at 11. Then we've got number six, Stegosaurus. I don't know if I actually saw that one earlier, so I think we've got that one. And number four, turn it on. I'll look at these properly later. Ah, oh, there we go. So, yeah, there's a few uh, swaps in there, but nice. Obviously, if there's anything I've opened you want to see more of, just let me know in the comments and I can do special videos. So next up is from the Westminster. I know what this is. It's a Gallimimus coin to go with my set that I've been collecting over the last few months. It's basically their official coins, if I can get it out of here.
more so from Fallen Kingdom. It's obviously the same kind of art style. But nice colour on the front. And then on the back it's got kind of like an embossed Jurassic World logo. But it is in a nice protective case. And it comes a little fax sheet. Nothing on the back. Well, they actually go in a folder. I think I've only got ooh, one or two more to get now. And I probably will do a full uh, video on that one. This one has been in my work bag for well over a year. I know what it is, but I'll open it here. It's a Jurassic World uh, pencil set. Or stationery set is probably the better word. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the uh, kind of the art style of this with the, the uh, red and blue. It's a bit of an odd choice considering a lot of Jurassic World was blue and then the kind of metallic look. But I think this was only 50p on eBay, so I can live with that. Something else for the collection and boom, a bit more artwork on the back. A little bit bashed at the top, but that's probably more for me having it in my bag for a year and forgetting it was there. But it goes in. Oh, a nice little one. This is on the same lines of what I opened earlier. With the Lost World stuff from Mini Cheddars. But these actually came in the packs themselves. So this is a Pachycephalosaurus one. Me being the person I am, I am going to keep it in the plastic. But like I say, these ones actually came in in the packet of crisps themselves, as you can imagine. I mean, you can see how small that is there. And I've now got to collect them all. This is what I do. I buy stuff on eBay for, I don't know, 20, 30p. And then I've got to get the whole collection. Vintage. Fragile, not fragile is probably a better word, but I know it's not fragile. Because it is well packaged. I don't know what this is. It was an eBay purchase. And I know it's safe to hack it with the scissors. Because of what it is way below the surface. Bubble wrap. Might be able to see it now. If not. You can watch me open more bubble wrap. This is 1993 vintage goodness. Oh, it's a school kit similar to what I just opened from the Lost World, and I meant Jurassic World. But as you can see, it is a ruler, pencil sharpener, a rubber or a razor, and then a very nice uh, pencil case with Tim and the Raptors in the classic scene. Oh, and it was 98 cents. And in the UK, that would probably be about 80p. How times have changed. I am old. And on the back, we've got the classic... JP logo here. And if I was to ever get a tattoo, it would be of that. But I think I'll be a bit scared. Oh, my wife won't let me. Either one, it makes me pathetic. Look out. Sorry, I didn't even say that. Look for this brand on all official Jurassic Park products. It's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct. Very nice set. In good condition, too. Like I say, I like to keep everything in the box and the packaging. And it's some classic, or almost classic, Jurassic art in the back with the silhouette of the trees. It's just missing a little bit of yellow at the bottom and fading out. But either way, it's nice. Right, I have already opened this out of the big packaging. This is the inner packaging. Now, I wanted to get this back in August. When I was in London at the XO for the Jurassic World exhibition, 
because I'm a sucker for exclusive stuff. And this wasn't available at the time. Oh, they've moved a little bit. I'll have to try and sort that out because this has not been opened. This is from Jurassic World, the exhibition. Clearly not from London though. I'm guessing it was in Japan at some point. But yeah, I want to get something like this when I was there. Um, like I say, I, uh, I always want kind of exclusive things. And considering I went on the third or fourth day, there was a lot of stuff missing in the shop, which I was very disappointed about. And as well, just to add insult to injury, on some of the exclusive stuff that was there, like the Funkos, they'd add, added about £10 onto the price. And they'd crossed it out by hand on the poster and written it down. So that, I'm not going to lie, annoyed me a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to try and get that uh, sticky mollock back up here. Because I do not want to open it. And then on the back, nice kind of foresty kind of background. Swamp, I wouldn't like to say which one. Let's get it out of the light. And you can see the dinos we've got here. Like I said, Stiggy Mollock. Uh, I forgot what it is. <laughs> Stegosaurus, T-Rex, Indominus, Raptor, and the Pteranodon. All from the uh, Jurassic World series, of course. Obviously, Rex is from the original, but obviously Jurassic World, the exhibition. But it also came with the bag, which I've got a few of. It literally just says Jurassic World, the exhibition on it. But it's nice to add it to the collection. Right, next up. A tube. Now this is a nice little piece. It's an official piece of artwork. Again, done by uh, Fanatic. Officially licensed. It's by an artist called Sam Gilby, who I'm a very big fan of. And you might have seen it. Ooh, let's discover Isla Nublar. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous for the 20th, 23rd, for the 30th anniversary. Now, I got this directly from Sam's uh, website. It's A3 in size. Now, I, instead of buying it from Fanatic, I got it from Sam's website for this reason only. It's an AP, an artist print. And that's a nice number for me. Number two. I could make jokes there, but I'm not going to. Well, no, I absolutely love Sam's work. I've had the pleasure of meeting him. And I'm going to show off now. Because I have this book. Not Jurassic. Visions from the Upside Down, a Stranger Things art book. Because I have the pleasure of being in this book if I find it along with Sam now I went to a signing for this I was part of it but for me and I've already got Sam's here which is great the reason I'm showing it is because I'm here too this is my artwork there you go that's me Chris K and these were all hand drawn as well I do have them up in my studio at the moment but that is going to become a Jurassic Room. Spoiler alert for the future. But no, I'm a huge fan of Sam and his work. So I just want to share that. And just get one more look at this. I don't know if you can actually tell with this light. But that is on. Kind of really thick. Expensive paper. Just about to see it there. But now that is beautiful. I already have um, his 25th anniversary print up in my uh, studio. It's uh, from the same scene, but it's the initial uh, Brachiosaurus where they're all looking up in wonder. Amazing. And there you have it. Some more things for my collection. I say collection, probably put it in a box and not do anything for several months. Obviously the uh, exhibition stuff I ever put in because that's a little large to get in the picture. But I hope you've enjoyed this. The first video I've done anything like this. And hopefully it's not 
too embarrassing on me and i will see you next time my name's chris i am the jurassic artist find me on instagram here